day everyone my name is Sebastian and you are watching the novice prospect welcome back to space engineers um, so in this stream we're going to be building a base I have however made one addition to the mods <clears throat> and this is again it's a quality of life improvement right uh, you don't technically need any of these um, to sort of keep going but we have added now where is it um, oh yes autofill bottles right so this basically allows us to not have to rely on having to chuck the bottles into the O2H2 generator and then take them back out again as long as we sit in a co cockpit or something that's connected to an H2 and O2 uh, supply it'll refill the bottles automatically right so that that is literally the only addition I've made uh, I've made um, I was tempted to do um, the whole assert, you know, like having enemies uh, and that, but I have to side against it. For now, this game is complicated enough. Let's not add any extra complications or complexity when we really don't need it, right? Um, so, I'm just sort of quickly checking in on chat. No, that's the wrong one. Um, Yes, I would. I would imagine. Then, um, I just quickly go and make sure I can see my chat. Just because I have a feeling it doesn't actually work. So let me. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just as I say making sure. Yeah, this seems no, that's the wrong, just the wrong thing. Uh, no, but this this seems fine. Um, if I go and do a test there. Can I see it here? Yes, fantastic, cool. So we should be almost loaded up now. Um, I was just making sure OBS was showing me actually the YouTube chat, which Streamlabs for some reason doesn't really do cleanly. So. <coughs> Anyways, let's wait until the world is loaded, and here we are, right? And if we remember, we've literally just got power generation, we've got an assembler, uh, sorry, a current container, a refinery, and an assembler. Uh, that's as far as we got. I would like to... We're going to ignore the unknown signals for now. I'm, I'm really not too worried, too worried about that. I would like to automate this whole mining thing, right? It's this whole digging for stone. Right? It feels a little bit... Like, we shouldn't be doing it that way. So, I have an idea. We're going to go on top of here. And I will work through the night. Like, I'm just going to do my best to light everything up in that. And to make sure you guys can see what we're doing. Um, but that way you can see we've literally just left exactly the same spot as we were yesterday. Um, anyways, I would like... Hmm. How am I going to do this? Right, and this this is now where you need to, to think about your future design a little bit. And so I'm going to have, yes, I would like a pipe junction in my quick bar. Um, and we're going to do the same with, where is it? So when you, when you select the one with the plus up here, you actually get access to the other blocks that are underneath that as well. So that's why I tend to just add them. Um... And I will show you in a second how that works. And then you basically select the block, right? And then you can mouse wheel through it and it'll give you different... Yeah, uh, different selections of that same block, right? Um, we're not looking for cargo, however. Um, actually, a conveyor pipe junction would be perfectly all right, I think. Uh, what do you mean we can't withdraw steel plate? Go and put that into production, please. Like, have we really got no iron left? That uh, yeah, no, we 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 we're low. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna have to do one or two more runs. I reckon maybe two, three, um, before we can sort of automate the whole um, not having to dig into the ground anymore. Sorry, that was me pushing the wrong button on the wrong quick bar. Oh, it was the right button, actually. It was just the wrong quick button. Um, 
And yeah, so we've, we've hollowed this out. I quite like this, actually. And I'm hoping that it's quiet enough, like the game sounds, that you guys still can hear me. Um, we'll have to turn down my own volume a bit. That's better. Alright, but this this seems fine. Um, well, take that corner away. That, that, that's better. And then I, we, we have a spare voxel there. I don't... That was a bit lag inducing. Um, and then just in general, keep doing the same thing. And, um, you know, fill up the inventory at the same time, but I'm also trying to, yeah, carve out a nice wee space. And what I'm gonna do, uh, I would like to do anyways, I'm gonna try. Um, Just clean this up a bit. I'm thinking of so we have a room here. I, I'm thinking of maybe trying to sort of dig another mining tunnel. Yeah, sort of in this direction, but go past the room. Okay, that's sort of my intention. Anyways, we have some material on us. Let's go and take it up to the refinery. <coughs> Right. And as a matter of fact, um, while we're here, we're going to do another thing. Uh, yeah, no, we can't exactly grind everything. So, yeah, let's actually talk about that. What's, what's the next pieces we need to really have an independent base so we can grind the pot down? Well, we need a health station or health kit, and we're going to need a O2H2 gen. Right, that's, that's the sort of two next blocks and I'm gonna just go and grab them um, I think well I'm just gonna look for them uh, O2H2 gen right that's that guy um, and then the other one I said was I can't mind is it a health no is it a survival kit that's what we're gonna start with there, there is an upgrade to this um, but yeah, let's let's start small, right? Um, and I try to think. Um, I think I would like the survival kit here in the middle. So what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go and grind this guy down for a second, just this lamp, right? And we're gonna just place it place it up there, I suppose, right? And there's a, there's a reason. Just bear with me. Um, we might not see this episode, might be in the next episode, um, but so the point is, oh yeah, build version, let's, let's jump into that quickly. Um, I've mentioned this in the last episode when we started, you know, as a mod. What it allows us to do, it allows us to interact with block without having a control station available. You hold control, if the block, yeah, there, there we go, there's the build vision, right? That's the interior light, and no, there's... And then you use the mouse mouse wheel to bring up this menu. And now we can actually say we click on the item in the radial menu with the left click. And then with the mouse wheel we can just go and bump this all the way up to where we want it. Um, and obviously like the control panel could make this easier. But you know, and then you just hit the left mouse button again to confirm that. The fall off we're going to I think 2.0 because it's a quadratic fall off as far as I can recall. Intensity, yeah, we're gonna go and ramp that up. I want to make sure you guys can see. We're not gonna blink. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. We can change the color if we wanted to, but I'm, I'm happy. And then to close it or to come back from a, if, like, say you've done fall off and you don't want to go do anything, just right click. It'll cancel. And the same is true for this menu. Right click and it'll close. Right, boom. Um, and so we're a little bit more lit up, but higher up. Nice. So what was it? We're going to put a... Nope. Wrong toolbar. Um, entirely. So here's my survival kit. We can't exactly build it. Let's let's see what we can withdraw. Apparently everything. 
I am surprised at that. We, sh we should have been missing something. I, uh, you still don't tell me I have. No, I haven't. I was going to say, we, we, we didn't do a creative thing. So, let's go and weld this up as far as we can. Right, and... Yeah, see, this is weird. Because the build planner has nothing in there. We don't have the ingredients for sure. Okay, components added. Cannot withdraw three medical components, one display, and one computer. Right. Here's the rub. We can't make these medical kits. Like, um, if, if I'm not mistaken, we, we can't. Yeah, medical components, we, we, because we don't have access to silver right now. Not a big issue, right? Just bear with us. We're going to do our usual. We're lacking a little bit of steel or iron, so let's go and... So I'm still using the pot to orient myself a little bit. Um, and am I going to try and do this right now? Yeah, let's, let's try and do that. We need the material anyway, so... And I think I'm going to go a little bit down with this. Just a hole that I can... Yeah, this is nice, okay. And then we're gonna just go sort of forge ahead a little bit. Now, I wanna make sure I'm staying quite low because the drill has a tendency to wander sort of up, upwards in, in a slope. And you know, it's, it's not something we would want. I don't really want to break through ground voxels, like at the surface. I would, I would really, really, really like to, if I can, avoid that. Right, and just be careful as I'm sort of pulling away stuff here. And digging at the terrain. Okay, next load. Let's go. I love this skybox, honestly. It's it's gorgeous. Right. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Oh, careful there. Just a bit killed and stuff, okay? Um, so we're going to go and place all that. Let's talk about medical components. Well, how are we going to solve that? Well, fairly easy. We're going to grind them. Because there's three medical components in the survival kit. And it doesn't scrap down, it, it literally comes back to us as medical components. Awesome! Let's go and do that. Um, make sure there's nothing in the survival kit, obviously. Um, I spoke about this yesterday. So, yeah, let's... Gimme. Okay, awesome. Right, and just, just leave the hole as it is. I don't realistically care. Because what we're going to do now is going to add the components that we have and it actually all comes straight up from that survival kit except for the last couple of steel plate. Right now we we'll need to tell the build planner that we've actually done the thing. Right? It, it doesn't realize because it thinks we've still not produced the medical components. But yeah, other than that, we've got the next piece in the puzzle to get the base surviving. Right. Um, now, I would like to quickly investigate how much iron we have. Oh my goodness, this is so little. Yeah, we're, we're literally going to have a minus very soon. I, I, I cannot abide this much longer. Um, for now, I will steal steel plate right from here. I'm going to just chop it right off. Ding, 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 ding. Just bear with me. Come on. As I, said, I want to do this right because sort of when you lose great integrity, it's a much harder to grind away blocks that have actually fallen to the ground. And we've seen this yesterday on one of those um, unknown signals, where it was quite a pain to actually grind away that block that fell down. So I'm trying my best here to sort of keep everything intact that we can't yet make, or that 
you know, we're not concentrating on it. Like, there's still an antenna going, there's still an ore detector going on there. We're gonna just leave all that alone for now. Right, just give me steel plate. Awesome. Right, because realistically, we don't need all this built up right now. And that, that comes soon enough. Like, it's it's really not that much of an issue. So let's go and place just one more row of blocks here. And it is basically because we're going to put the next one right here, and I would like to have some space to go around. Right? Cool. Let's go and do that. What's, what's the next block? It is... No. Wrong button, Sebastian. It is the <coughs> O2H2 generator. Right? And it doesn't really matter how it is placed. Um, you know, you can see, obviously, where the... The, the, the conveyors are, but you know, other than that, this is fine. Um, yeah, I like this way, right? Also, energy low. Now you can see that the H2 bottles are not getting <coughs> refilled. And that is A, because we don't have any H2, H2, uh, H2 as a hydrogen anywhere in any bottles or anything. Also, we don't have any ice, and we don't have anything that makes ice or turns ice into hydrogen. So that's obviously what we're working on right now. Um, we can just fill in what we have. Um, large steel tube construction components and a lot of steel plate. Yeah, th this is one of the more expensive blocks to start, but it's actually, it's it's not, it's a non-issue, I would say. Right. I am very tempted. This battery is... For all intents and purposes, it's useless to us. I, I, I have no intention of trying to drag it over. Um, I, I could, you know, you, you could certainly make something. Um, I would do that, but let's let's not. Let's not worry about that. Just sort of grinding away more steel plate as I see it. I'm trying to leave that all to H2 gen alone as much as I can until ours is fully built up. Right. There we go. That's a bit more here. Leave that alone just to keep the integrity intact. You know, I, I don't... I am not that brave. I don't understand all the ins and outs heads on how things connect and when they lose their connection I, I I feel sort of it's this when you see this it's it's connected right when you don't see it like here this this block would fall off probably <clears throat> like if I was to put strain on it or, like blocks don't just fall but some do I I I'm still a noob still a novice still learning Again, that's the whole part of the journey, right? So, let's go and do... First, yes, um, build planet is empty, that's nice to know. And then we're gonna just deposit everything we have. And I would like to know, just out of curiosity's sake. Because I am sure we have the resources, right? Uh, oh, okay. No, it, I think it can. Um, tools? So the enhanced drill, we're missing a little bit of iron for that. Wonder, can we just, like... I know it seems a little bit counterintuitive, but... Just... Just disassemble this for a second, right? Should give us some iron. Um, them two, and them... Oh, see, I don't... Why? What? Okay. Never mind. Just don't question it. Don't worry about it. Um, I am hoping that if we go back to assembling, yes, we can make an enhanced drill. This is our first step up. Like, uh, we're lacking cobalt for the other two, but the drill, yeah, that is in our. That is definitely in the realm of possibility for us. Ha ha! And it is going to make things a little bit less painful, right? So, in the way we need to do this now, we go into our G hotbar or G menu, right? We take away, with a right click, the hand drill that has been placed in here, which is the basic one. 
then you go to your character weapons, no, sort of character tools, and you shall see now the available hand drill, the enhanced hand drill that we've made in here. So just right click it and boom. We now have an enhanced drill to use and make. Like, and this is why I don't like um, the whole respawn with tools all the time because you end up always with basic tools after you've already gone through the effort of making, you know, better things. So let's see this bad boy in action. And I'm just doing this because I know we're going to need resources. You know, for the next couple of builds. It's, it's unfortunately, it's a little bit of a slog to do this the way I'm doing it. Um, and, you know, there's probably better strategies to do this a lot faster and more neat. But... I'm just here to show you the game in its basics and, you know, some of the pitfalls I have encountered and eh, a bit more. Um, but honestly, you know, one of the p best pieces of advice I can give you guys, don't be afraid of creative mode. You know, there's, there's no cheating in it, really, to start with. Um, just to, to get an understanding of how the game works and, and how blocks work together. Yeah, absolutely. Go creative. Go nuts. Um, I can't stress that enough. It really allowed me to actually get to grips with the game. Like, I was looking at the progression system from the start when I was starting playing it the first, say, 10 hours. And I was overwhelmed. I was like, now I've seen all these videos with all these awesome blocks, but how do you get to them? What am I missing? How do I get to that resource? And, like... It feels a little bit more, I, I, I don't know, a, a little bit more natural to sort of follow this progression, sort of have these limitations on what you can do, right? Um, and I like this already, yeah, there's, there's a ton of resources sort of available there. Um, we're gonna go and try, did we, no, build menu is empty, I'm sure, yes. So, let's, we want those components build. Let's withdraw as much as we can and then we're missing more steel plate and two steel tubes. Well, I should probably not <laughs> destroy those, but should be fine. Like, this assembler can already make the big steel plates, uh, steel tubes. That's sort of the very first big step that really gets you moving. Once you can make those <laughs> steel tubes, those, those large steel tubes, your life's going to be much easier in terms of making things. Okay, um, it, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, I forgot to put the lights on, sorry guys. <laughs> um, try not to waste energy, you know, while I'm actually at base, like, sort of makes sense for me to sort of turn my helmet light off. Because, you know, I have put the light up. And, you know, I will obviously make more effort in that and having more lights, uh, putting up more lights up in that. And I fully expect to come in here later on and try and clean this up a bit. Because there's things like here where we're not going to get through until I... Maybe maybe that would be enough. Yeah, see? But yeah, there's going to be bits where I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. Now, I am looking at my stream here and it looks atrocious. I... I Give me two seconds, guys. Oh no, it's fine. Oh no, 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 that was just me. Because, yeah. Because multi threading, uh, multitasking. Right. Um, anyways, let's. I'm also looking at recordings, data, and yeah, oh, no drop frames, all that. All good. Right. Large steel tubes. Come on. Make them. It shouldn't be that far off. Uh, there we go. We should have those components with us now. And. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. 
Like this is <sighs> okay. So note to self: when you've picked up something, f you know that is meant for the build planner, and you then do a alt middle mouse click deposit with say a whole bunch of stone, it will also deposit the other resources, like steel plate. And it now thinks I'm missing the steel plate, even though I had already picked it up. I, are you? Hitting me right now that this is the build planner is empty. Right, we're gonna just add these things. Give me the components and do it this way. Right, and it, it is a sort of user error. You know, the user has to be the one to make sure that we're not with dumping in all the things, but only yeah, stone or whatever you pick up. Anyways, here's your our O2 H2 gen. Now, if I've done this right, okay, and this is another big moment. I hope I've done this right. Um, I'm going to go and pick all this up, right? We're also going to go and just grind this guy down. And here's two blocks that have just fallen off because I seen it happen. And the minute I ground them off, I was like, oh, that's going to fall. But yeah, there we go. That's, that's a good start, right? We now have everything needed. What I can do is I can just deposit all this stuff in. We're not got anything in the build planner, I believe. And so, you know, everything in there. Ice, however. Now, if you look, the ice is gone. Is it gone? Well, let's have a look at the Ultra H2 Gen. It's right in there, waiting to be processed, right? And now we can do this guy. And it's now going to go and fill up all my bottles, you know, as we do this as well. And it takes a second to do it properly, because it sort of cycles through all the bottles, weirdly. And I think that's actually it. Yeah. Well, there you go, right? We now have everything needed. The one thing I didn't do, and I would like to sort of change that and fix that quickly. So I, I, I do believe I've not done this. All right, let, let me check my GPS. Uh, oh no, we, we, we have done a thing. We, we have done a thing. Right, no, that's fine. Um, okay. Cool. What else do we need from the respawn pod? Realistically, nothing. Right. We've already sort of assured that there is no resources really nearby because otherwise the ore detector right there would have picked up. But it did. Okay, so you know what's going to be left? We're going to grind this whole thing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. I, I'm not even caring. We're just going to give this a quick grind. And it shouldn't take me too long, to be honest. Like. There we go, and then there's a block that's going to fall off. Yeah, let's see, I don't like those bottom blocks, but it's fine. Um, let's... I, I like to work... <clears throat> that's another one. Why is that? I, I normally like to work from top to bottom, just so you don't have so many blocks falling. Um, but because of how it slashed away half the ship already, I think that's how I've lost stuff there. But it's all good, right? Now we'll work on the antenna and grinding that down. Right, and, and this is this is always a bit of a how would you say grindy part <laughs> in the literal sense of the word, as well as the gaming sense, you know. This is something you just have to grind out, literally. Um, and yeah, we're gonna make that already disappear as well. I, I don't actually care because we have one running. We have discovered the block, we've made one, we know how to make one. It's all good. I'm gonna probably run out of energy before I ground this whole thing apart.
so I'd take these blocks away. Um, I keep up here maybe. Oh, I knew something fell. Um, and you know, remember guys, don't hesitate to ask. You know, in the in the comments or if you're in chat. You know, if you've got questions about this game or you, you, you're not understanding something, you know, go and ask. I may or may not know the answer, or I may know someone that knows the answer, but... You know, if you don't ask the question, you're not going to laugh. Simple as. I just like to learn completely autodidactically, meaning, you know, I, I learn it by myself by just doing it. Um, But, you know, everyone's different there, and I don't mind giving a bit of help if people are not quite understanding how something works. I've done it in other series already, and I'm more than happy to do it. There we go, we're nearly done tonight, there's not much left. I know this is very boring for you guys to watch, but, you know, I, I really want to give you a good representation of the experience. Um, as I say, the only cheaty setting that we really have is the bigger inventory size on the character. I should have probably checked those inventories, but <laughs> um, But let's just say we couldn't even grind half this ship up or, you know, half this stuff up um, with normal inventory sizes. We would have had to run back three, four times, I think. Um, so, you know, that is exactly the reason why I do it. So, there we go. Now we have, as I say, pretty much everything we would sort of need, right? I think before we build anything else, we're gonna fix this whole mining situation. Because I, I, yeah, not happy with it. Um, now we. So how far are we in? We put we put a half an hour in. Because I may actually be tempted. Yeah, it's a bit. I may be tempted to actually put another grid down. Like, I can um try and start a grid down here somehow. Um, but how would I power it? Um, yeah. Okay, it's for another time. We're going to be fairly ugly about this right now. Right. But, so here's my plan. I would like something fairly straightforward and simple to come out of this side of the cargo container um, with a piston, you know, sort of up here coming down with a drill head attached. Because I am sick of drilling, sick and tired of drilling for stone for myself. Right. So, Let's go and fix that. And I, th I think I like the approach actually. What I've done here is coming up here and then starting with one of these guys, right? So let's go and withdraw components and we're going to place one of these guys, right? Um, and it sort of allows us to, you know, still have conveyor connections going off in all sorts of directions. Uh, actually, another. It's an alteration, we'll call it, right? Um, I would like to actually try and do something like... Oh yeah, a flange, flange one looks looks nice. I, I like that. It's a pipe end. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. And then... Attach one of these guys. Like so, right? right we, we need a minimum height be able to place a piston um, and the drill because they are fairly chunky blocks right but so let's let's start with that let's let's put these two together oh wrong button or wrong toolbar so let's grind what we have add that same problem there cool let's fix that withdraw what we have and then make more Right, and hey, 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 this is fine. 
um, go out and mix this together, mix this together. So it's it's a bit more, you know, we're making things in one certain batch. Also, what may be of interest if you have multiple assemblers, you can do something called cooperative mode. Right? You can basically tell one assembler to not be cooperative mode. This is this button here. And all the other assemblers would then be in cooperative mode and you basically fill one assembler with a queue and it then hands off jobs. But apparently we had enough resources. That's actually really nice to know. So we're going to put this guy together and we're going to put this guy together. Yes, fully expected that part to work. Awesome. Right. And yeah, I know it, it doesn't look all that appealing, but I'm not so worried about looks as I am about function form over a uh, function over form in my case. Um, come on. Right, nice. Um, just making sure we've got enough enough energy. So I think we could. Yeah, we're going one higher. Um, let me think about this for a second. Okay. I would like to change my hotbar a little bit. Now we, would, we don't need those two guys on here not right now. We don't need the small conveyor on here. Um, cargo container can stay, although we can't really make it because we lack girders. What are we actually needing? So a piston would be nice. And we have access to those. That's already nice. That's, that's good. Um, and I think I'm going to go actually with, uh, extend. okay, we're going to start with a one by one, we're going to put them both on a bar, right, and look, I'm going to show you sort of what I'm talking about. Right, we can maybe attach this guy. Like so, right? And you, you need to be sort of aware, if you look at the block on the bottom maybe, you can see there's a section that sort of has a plate. That is the section, section that extends. So obviously you want to point that away from wherever you're connecting your conveyor to, right? Um, that being said, however, a normal conveyor looks a little bit like this. I'm still really bad at aligning this stuff, but yeah. It already takes up that sort of three block space before it even extends. Um, whereas, you know, the piston mod, sorry, allows us to have a one by one by one um, block that we can then use to extend. So that that would be my preference right now. Okay. Um, we need to get a bit distance from the base. I don't, I don't want to really grind into or, or, you know, drill into the actual base. So what we're going to do is I would like to go this way. Uh, yeah, and then turn this. Oh, yeah, just like so. Um, then I would like to just normal tube. We're going to come out with that. Right. I don't think, I don't think that's actually going to be enough. Okay. Like, I, I just have a feeling it's not going to be enough. Um, I'm going to have to go one up. It is just no uh, denying that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go one up. Then find me one of those curves, right? Then come out. Then find me that other curve, please. Like so. And basically attach the piston onto that. So this guy. And then we need to return it, uh, rotate it so it's pointing the right way. And, you know, it helps sometimes to just point it sort of into emptiness to see if you've sort of got it right. And then point it at the actual slot where it would go. And we need more steel plate. Are you kidding? Really? Oh, um, wrong button. Zero. Right, where is it? 
Give me... I'm sure we... I was going to say, we, we should have plenty of that stuff. Right. Okay, so there's our piston. Right. And the, the piston comes actually in two parts. So this is fairly important to know when you weld it together. You get the main piston part here. Then just underneath, you can see the plate. Right, that's the top piston part. Right. So you need to make sure that you're actually grinding both before you attach anything heavy to it. Okay. Last but not least, I would like to see if I have access to a drill. Yes, I do. Oh, good grief. Yes. This is, this, this is, I, I was, I was hoping there was nothing in the way of progression. Because I couldn't remember, to be honest. But so, now the point is that we can do something like so. And I would like the drill writing to point this way, I think. Right? And there's our first construct. Yeah. One other thing I would like to add, just because I like buttons. So I'm, I'm trying to sort of gauge where the impact is going to be. Right? Okay, so we can place one block there. Might as well fill it. Might as well. Um, then, I would like another block to introduce you to. Um, it's called a button panel, right? And we're going to just take the plus guy again. Um, and now you, you see the little icon here, obviously, meaning it's uh, from the sci-fi pack or whatever, you know, or um, this is going to be, I think, a heavy industry. But just remember, right, none of these DLCs give anyone in the game an advantage. The cost for the recipes is the same. You get maybe extra blocks, fair enough, and they may look prettier. But, um, like, best example, right, maybe just to sort of show off, right, we can look at a large cargo container and say, in overall, it takes 360 interior plate and then say 80 construction components, uh, 60 small tubes, right? Oh, would you know that? What, what, what do you know? The cost is exactly the same for the large industrial cargo container, which is just a variation of um, where's uh, the large, right? Just an optical difference, but yeah, yeah, we're getting extra pipe blocks. They look like a pipe, but they actually behave exactly the same as these conveyor blocks, um, like conveyor tubes and curved conveyor tube is the same as a conveyor pipe or curved. There's no functional dif difference. Okay. I just choose those blocks because I like them. Anyways, let's try and do that again because I lost my place there. As a matter of fact, did we add that to the bar? No, we did not. So let's go and do that. All right, and no, we have a better panel for that, trust me. Oh, I'm gonna place that there. And then we're gonna start putting some stuff together. Bef we, we, we can't control any of this before we put some components into it, right? So. Now we're going to just fill the build planner. That's what I'm going to do, right? So far, and have the same problem there, and then make sure that we get that up this part. And it says functional already, but rather feed those eight steel tubes in to give it more resistance. Because we are, you know, there is a moving mass at the bottom of this. Well, this up as far as we can, and then add that to the build plan as well. That's one, two, three, four, five, three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right, I think that's the maximum in the build plan. Anyways, let's try and withdraw as much as we can. Eh, we're going to have to put stuff into production. Now let's try and clean up this production queue a little bit. And, and, and this is going to be made better soon, trust me. We're, we're going to have the means at our disposal soon to make this so much more yeah, easier to do. Right. But you can see we're going to need to yeah, dive back down that hole. Also, um, like it'll disappear the next spawn, but might as well just say uh, delete that waypoint. Right, bam, done. Right, and just because I know myself, 
I, I, I really do know myself well enough to know that this is a smart idea. Earth, um... Right. Yeah, yeah, call it that, right? But no. It just gives me something to orient and then I have that earth first base. So even if I don't have an antenna, I can roughly at least tell why. Okay, so that's worked, that's nice. Um so we're gonna come back down and then just keep doing the dance. But you can tell that this enhanced hand drill is actually better because we're filling the inventory a lot quicker. Right? It's not that the material is different. Like you can actually see, like if I was to say get pure iron, um, just a full inventory full, it would actually be a lot less than stone in carrying capacity. So you know there is that. Um, but yeah, for now this is fine. Let's go and. I am not going to make that same mistake again. We're just going to feed that straight into the assembly. Alright, we're going to feed it into the cargo container. And not the assembler, the refinery. But well, that, that would have helped. But we're going to just have to keep going with us, right? And this. I am, I am sure, sure, sure that we're going to need at least three, four loads, if not more before we are fit to really build all that up and that should actually be the last time for us you know at least we are going to be a lot quicker in building things from then on in I can promise you that And if there is strays and you can see a bit of space in your inventory, hey, don't, don't hesitate to pick it up. Careful. Slipping a bit there. Yeah. That was a bit clippy through the terrain. Um, but it's fine, I'm not... No, it's fine. Um, again, uh, into the cargo container, but we can probably just... Yep. Skittish, right. I'm gonna need a few loads, so I'm just gonna keep doing this for a wee while. Uh, I'm just gonna keep vamping as well, you know, just talking bull poop as I can. Um, but I sort of like this tunnel already. Like, I feel I could do something with this in, in relation to the base. I don't know what yet, but I feel there's something that could be exploited there, like. Yeah, no, this is fine. Just trying to make sure I'm still pointing the right way. Oh. Yeah, enough done again. Right, okay, uh, I'm just gonna stop here because inventory is getting near full, so might as well. Dink, 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 dink. And yes, I will make that tunnel a little bit wider. So I am myself not entirely happy with it. It's a little bit too claustrophobic. So let's go, 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 go. Uh, dear inventory, take all of my stone, please, and put it in there. Thank you. Um, also, I want how, how does it go? Yeah, you're still making things, and we're going to go and check in on the actual production tab. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Like, honestly, this is, this is not too bad. Um... I'm sure we can do something with this, right? Wait. See, that's complete. Um, so that. And just keep going and fill in the materials as we have them. Straight into the components here. Is the piston complete? Awesome. So this is now where we're going to have the first big parts. This is going to be awesome, by the way. Right? And, yeah, we're, we're missing a few bits here still, right? Turn the light off. Good sake, Sebastian. Trying to save energy. 
Also, I would like to, once this is fully charged me up, I would like to investigate quickly what the power situation is like. I... Uh, it's about either... Okay, we're still recharging. It, it may take some time, but we're recharging. We're not draining, so we are net positive, right? Input for 17, output 19. Make sure, yeah, kilowatt. Yeah, okay. Nice. Um, I like. And, you know, it's it's chugging away, and we're gonna build a few more once we can. Um, more steel plates. See where we can deposit that. Uh, what? Why else do we have on us that could be? Okay. I am slightly confused. Let me, why do I have those components on me when I have no need for them? Like, literally, this is just eye candy now, is it not? The steel plate, steel tubes, that, that's all it requires, okay? I am going to deposit what I have on me as a tier plate construction code. Yeah, nothing of this screams like keep me, okay? Place it there, and Apparently, oh yes, there it was. Ah, Sebastian is an idiot. It is, this is fine. Yes, interior plate. <laughs> what was it? For interior, or oh, actually, interior plate computer control. Do you know what? Oh, wait, you haven't even added that to the build plan, which is fine, because then we can just do this, then this, and this, right? We're not going to do anything with this yet. Well, very soon. We just need to build this guy up. So, let's... Hey ho hey ho Into the mine we go. The hard drill and no lights on. hey ho hey ho, hey ho. Let's go. Yeah, I, this this is definitely going to need a bit. I love it. Uh, maybe... This seems fine. I can I can walk out of that. Nice. Okay. Let's elongate the tunnel. I like this tunnel. I would like to make it longer and warm. Okay. It seems our inventory is getting full yet again. But you know, it's a thing. Stone is heavy. Like your Newtonian mechanics. And there we go. Right. And I am. Let's go tell the build plan to go and fuck it off. Because we have sort of messed up just there because I didn't help the middle mouse button thing again. Right, but it's fine. Um, I think we're going to just keep feeding this production line. But, uh, well, not production, but you know, this production of the components. Because once we have that drill going, we can at least automate this process a little bit. You know, and if needed, we can extend it and things like that. Also, I feel we've dug quite a ways in now. Let's, let's make a chamber. Um... The way I'm going to do that, to try and plan this out properly, is make an extension here, right, 90 degrees off. Right, just, just like so, and do the same sort of here. A little bit more on this side, just... I think that should sort of be equal. 
Right, and we're nearly full, so that's nice. Um, so let's keep. Oh. Again with light. <clears throat> And yeah, I probably should have a light switch for that lightness on in the exterior, but eh, later. Again with the crouching, that 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 also impedes your jump height, obviously. Uh, basic refinery, go and no, just go and do this. Right, just this. Um. Also. Um, basic assembler, can we put this in there? Now we're gonna go into the assembler, we're gonna say disassemble, we're gonna say disassemble you, please. Right, I have no need to keep a basic one if I have access to a better. Right. And we are working through this, and now it's just steel plates. And it's apparently quite a few steel plates, but build plan is empty, let's and tell it okay we, we have things that we want in there right. and now it just hinges on 50 steel plate to get us started right. and yeah I, I, I knew you weren't gonna be happy oh well okay note to self be careful when you're just sort of bouncing through the environment Sebastian you can kill yourself you know it's <laughs> Space is deadly. Whether it be actual space space or just the three-dimensional space that we inhabit. Never mind the space-time. Uh, not even getting into that. Right. Um, so we're not here to do astrophysical or quantum mechanical expertise. Uh, Experiences. No, we're just here for games. Right, and again, we've, we've got stray stones, so let's mosey on back home. Well, back to base. Oh, I like that wee tunnel that we've got going there. Like, I feel like I might put something, something, dark side, something, something, base, something, something. Mining, possibly? Eh, we'll see. Uh, your refinery, please find this stuff too. Right, just, just keep going. And yeah, you, you're gonna think, oh, we're gonna put a big drill on and it's gonna ask our last. Hey, no, it, it's not. It's gonna tide us over, but we're gonna have to expand this whole thing very soon. And really, we should be working towards a rover, and that's probably gonna happen now next episode we'll, we'll see how we go um we we'll start today on the sort of the, the the basic shell um but yeah without a rover we're gonna be really gubbed for now i'm not even talking about flying i'm just talking about finding resources that we actually need right and yeah again a lot of that hinges uh, on getting all those resources together and Right, come on. Twelve more. We're still short. Oh my goodness, this is such a meme. This whole iron thing. Um But it's fine, you know, um This is I'm I'm doing this one for the long haul. Um and you know talking about which I I may actually not have mentioned any of this in the last episode or sort of in the starting episode. What are my goals, right? Um What's the goals for this series? I think that's sort of a, probably a valid question, I would imagine. So, what I'm thinking of doing, realistically, is try and establish a base on every planet. Get to every planet and establish a little functional something something base. You know, something that even if we weren't there, would still retain because power. You know, and then obviously finding whatever local circumstances we have, you know, can we do stuff with solar, can we do stuff with um, wind, or maybe once we find uranium we can even go nuclear, you know, all that stuff. I know, I'm just wanting this voxel mess gone. 
this one. I know I'm I'm leaving lots of stuff flying about, but I wanted this all cleared out. Of here. So we know what the inventory is for. Yeah, that lady is very persistent, by the way. But it's fine, you know, you can safely ignore her because all the items will get dropped. And if you're quick about it, they won't get deleted. Um, and I normally tend to not forget. Um, but, you know, this, this is where one of our mods is going to come in. And it's going to happen soon. Um, I predicted, actually, maybe even in the next half hour. Um... One of the mods that we have is the so-called build and repair, right? And yeah, I am lazy, I will freely admit it. And so that's why we have build and repair. It's basically nanobots doing all the welding for you. Um, and they would also pick up things like this, you know, or any resources actually dropped on the ground if you wanted to, they would just go and pick it up. We're gonna have to go a little bit down, I think. Like, I feel... That is the thing we're going to have to do. I don't want to feel claustrophobic in this space at all. I understand it's not a... This is not a proper base space, but I want a space that... If we decided to introduce enemy mechanics, then at least I had some sort of fallback space say hey um, enemies can't get to you know some of the core what you say uh, some of the core ingredients of a base like your H2O2 you know your, your power keep, keep that safe somewhere keep that somewhere we sort of in the voxels so it's gonna be difficult for them to actually go and get at it So we can put the drill away, I think. Like, I feel like I've mined quite a bit of stone there. So let's just go and stick this. Sorry. Uh, stick this in the refinery. Um, drop back quickly. And... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we, we were still moving quite at a pace there. Um, and now I'm just going in here picking up the rest of that, and I'm imagining... Itchy nose. Um, I'm imagining there should be quite a lot here. Well, and you can just hold F button, right? And so for those playing without a mod, you can... Um, I can't really demonstrate, but if when you're mining, right, and you hold your F button, it will actually pick up the resources most of the time. It's going to need a bit of cleaning up, but I'm not too concerned there. Um, be careful, Ling. I not kill myself in the process. Really hard. Uh, stick this in the refinery and then just quickly go and pick up the rest of this. I left down in the hole. Oh, yes, I know. Also, eight bees. That can get gone, and so can that. I should have just right clicked that whole box of pieces, anyways. Yeah, th this this is gonna look a little bit nicer, not two jutting pieces there. Um. Ding, 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 ding. I think that is it. Cool. Now, I hope I got my estimation right in terms of the materials for this. I, I hope. Right, we'll see. I can still hear it chugging away. That's a good thing. Right, the refinery. Okay, <laughs> just done. Uh, production, how are we looking? Okay, missing some steel plate, but you know, it, we'll take it, because it's enough to do 
this. We can get going, right? Right, we can literally go and send this guy now off to go and set up stone right underneath us. And let's go and set up a spawn pump. I would like the big red button. And, and so you've seen that, yeah? you can just hit K and that sets up the buttons. You, you point at one of those buttons and then um, at the moment there's not many blocks so we don't really need any grouping so it's all good. The first block we need is the drill, right? All blocks, drill, right? And all we want to do with that block is toggle it on and off, or toggle it on and off. Whenever I hit that big red button, that's button one, I want that thing to turn it on and off, right? And then the other one is the piston, right? No, you've seen that in the icon there, sometimes it does this. Uh, you, make, you need to make sure you're, you're grabbing the right icon. And uh, with the up button, in case, and in this case, because the piston is pointing down, right? So up, I would like to be to retract the piston. And when I push the down button, I would like it to just drag it in, we'll extend it, right? Boom. Nice. One other thing, we, we can't just send this off, it'll literally break in half, right? We need the control panel for a second, and we're going to talk A to the piston, and this is very important, we're going to share the inertia tensions, right? Um, it equalizes virtual masses of connected grids to achieve more stable behavior. Anytime you're moving blocks uh, and you, you see weird clangy behavior, you like jittery behavior on that, you will want to have the inertia tensor enabled, right? And the other one, and this is super important because if you ram this in at 0.5 meters a second, you'll break your toe. No doubt about it, okay? So at the moment it's set minus, so it's set to retract. And all we're going to do is change that number, still leave it minus, we're going to leave it still retracting. Right. We don't want to change any other state of the piston as it is right now. Right. The current position is 0, 0.0 meters. It's fully retracted. Cool. To really get down to that sort of um, precision that we're going to need here, it's not enough to just go and drag this. Right. You can you can hear it wanting to go out, but we need to be really careful. Control and click on the actual bar. So if I hold control and then click somewhere in this bar, I get this thing right? And this is important whenever you are drilling into any solid you want to be moving at 0 0.02 meters per second Okay, that's that seems to be sort of the magic number where things don't break. So what we're going to do is minus 0 0.02 Now if we had two pistons one on top of the other we would need to have this per piston because they're both moving at the same time. And if they were both moving at 0 0.002, it'd be altogether actually 0 0.004 and you start breaking things. So what you need to do is for two pistons, you would need to set it to 0 0.01. 0 .01 right? um, and you, you can do the easy math there. So you basically just divide 0 0.02 by the amount of uh, pistons you have connected to each other. Right. <laughs> and there's all sorts of designs, but we're gonna keep it very simple right here, right? That's pretty much all we need to know here. Right? We don't really need to worry about any of these right now. We're not doing anything that has specific tolerances or we need to limit anything. I'm happy here. And you can see the drill is different colored because it's on a subgrid, because it's connected through a piston. The minute you do something like that, pistons, hinges, it's a subgrid. It behaves different. It has its own mass. And this, again, is why you want this inertia tensor enabled. As far as I understand it, anyways. Um, and it served me well so far. There may be situations where you do not want to share the inertia tensor because otherwise Clank will, yeah, <laughs> visit you. You know, it depends on the build and what you're doing. Um, but enough of the talk. I think we are good to go. Let's. Do we want to go and drill into the ground? Yeah, let's let's go. Right, it's already starting because it's sort of in range. And you can hear the refinery spinning up. All good. Well, go and make a hole. So we hit F on that. And if you pay careful attention to the top screen, you can actually see 
how the drill head is slowly moving down. Right, and you can see it a little bit better here. Right, come, on, come down a little bit here. Well. So if I keep my mouse right there, you can see that piston part moving right. And it's moving at the right speed um, because tried and tested. So all I've got to say to that. Um, but the big benefit now is this. We, we look in here. We're going to see that the refinery is getting filled with stone right now. We are making materials. Right, We're making the last of this production as well, which is nice. Um, that we're going to wait until that is finished and we can just finish the piston off quick. Oh, sorry, the drill off quickly. Missing seven steel plate. <laughs> it's a slow going, but I, I want this properly com completed. Two more. Oh my goodness! Come on. <laughs> Gonna wait for those. Okay, cool. Let's go and finish this drill off. And there we go. We have automated rock collection. Right. For, for now, that is as good as it's going to get. We don't know about any other resources yet. Um, and looking at the time, we've got 20 minutes, roughly. Maybe a bit more. I'll see how the mood takes me. Um, but, yeah, so we could try and do a design or let's let's I have not considered and this is something you always need to look at right well then I like and go off but I want this I want to have a quick look at yeah see we are we are definitely gonna be short there so make sure the build plan is empty we're going to extend our power a little bit Right, go and point it at the inventory, remember, make sure that yellow outline is right there. Components added. Um, oh wait, I, I think I have this twice now. No, it's once, okay. Um, and then go and make the rest of what you need. We're gonna just put one more. Just. Right, that's fine, um, and there should be now a whole sort of job going on here, where in production we see those components, nice. And, you know, it's it's not the fastest, and the minute we can put maybe a second drill on it, it's going to become better as well. Um, and I, I would really like to, yeah, yeah, give me, give me those interior plates, please. Okay, done. Skittish. Successfully withdrawn. See if we can help power up it. So put all this together. Okay. Um, uh, I did see there's about 507, 570 skip frames due to lag. Voting lag even. Not good, but it's it's fine. I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's go and have a look now. Right, and now we're fully recharged in six hours again. And we are, yeah, see, we're using 350 kilowatts now with all that running. But we're inputting 829. Do we want to go and extend this maybe one more? Can we? We'll make some more. I would like to see, can we maybe just put one on? don't have the resources right now. Oh, wait, we can access this inventory. Yes, can we? Uh, I'm down a bit. Um, I'm still a little bit crappy with the jetpack. But I'm learning, you know, it's so good. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this game though. Um, Cannot withdraw the interior plates, that's fine. Go and just feed this stuff in. And that's actually just to finish it off, that's fine. So we should now have a little bit more energy again. 
So let's go and observe that situation right now. Uh, battery. Now we're inputting 1.25 megawatts and we're full in three hours. Well, that sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Um, however, we know it's not quite done. And did you notice, by the way, no more running for back and forth? I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, and actually, before we do anything else in terms of building a vehicle or anything like that, I would like to investigate the possibility. Let me quickly look. No, we cannot. Okay, what do we? What are we missing for that? For the build and repair, right? Where where are they first of all? Um, Built and repair, that's, that's the block right there. Oh, one up. So what are we missing? We need to build a landing gear and we need to build a cockpit block. Well, okay, let's, let's go and do that then. Because we're gonna need those anyways. Uh, landing gear, and we're not gonna see the other block actually. All right, that's fine. Also, no. No, 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 I want, I want, our first vehicle is going to be small block. I'm going to tell you this right now because we just don't have the resources to do anything else. It'd be ludicrous as well. Right. Give me, is that enough? Can we now please? See, I, I don't know if it's my mouse or something, but I cannot get these to move closer or, or further away. I know it's control and mouse wheel, but mouse wheel itself works, but I cannot get these guys to move. Okay. Anyways, small landing here. Just plonk it down somewhere and it will sort of need steel plate. I thought, do we not? Eight. Oh, fuck it, mistakes. Go and make those couple of things please one more steel plate thank you no not the big guy please the small guy just and then you, you sort of plonk it above ground just slightly and it'll go and magnets itself into the ground right and once we've built this guy up awesome right and we're gonna just leave him there maybe I'm gonna uh, I don't even have steel plate now, so it's um, the other one it wants us to do is a cockpit block, right? So, and I'm going to place that, and there's a sort of reasoning for me why I'm doing this in this particular way. Let's have a look at, um, actually, not just cockpit, there's a whole category here, right? And I think, in this case, uh, yeah, a control seat of sorts, really. I like that one. I'll, I really do. Can we please get the resources for that? But make what you need. We... Nope. I'm just needing a place for now, right? So, the point is, we have aligned this base already to the north, right? And I am going to do the same with this scene because it is also going to serve as a reference for a solar tower that we're going to build soonish. It's got to be a little while, not today. Um, but we're going to need a control seat anyway, so we're going to build it right there. Right? Just going to pick the components. So all, all, all the components, I mean. Have a quick look at production. Yeah, it's sort of making its way through. And, you know, have no delusion. Hi, Green, Green Bean, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Um, but, you know, make no mistake, yeah, we have a drill. We are far from hand drilling. 
uh, where we're not at a stage yet where we can afford to say, oh, we'll never need to handle ever again. So, let's go and build this cockpit up. Sorry it took me so long to see you there, Green Bean. I, I was lost in a world of my own there. <laughs> um, okay, so now we've got the cockpit seat. Now comes the, the now comes the one that was really after, if I remember right. Right. Uh, go and move those away, please, for now. Because, as I say, I am really, really lazy. Yes, please. Let's let's make a build and repair. Okay. First, get me components for this and, and, and start making whatever you need, right? And this one's connected to an inventory of sorts. Always does, right? And I think I may just... Yeah, we're we'll going to just place it right there. I like that. Um, now I need to see the writing left, right, rear, front. Yeah, there, that's, that's perfect. Uh, can we just place it? Thank you. Right. Um... Now, I did mention this in the last episode, on the first episode, right? When we're using build and repair, we're only going to allow blocks that we already know for it to be building, right? I am not going to say to it, oh, go and build me everything, because we're going to lose the ability to actually get more progress. That, that is an actual thing where building it with build and repair does not constitute you building it and thus learning that particular part, right? Just something to be aware of. Um, so let's keep going. Let's look at the production. How does it look? Can we chuck things together? Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, you need just a lot more iron. Are we fully extended already? Yeah, it seems like we are. Okay. Okay. Uh, not a problem. Not really. So, let's, let's go and bring you up, and yeah, you, you can get your phone. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. going to... Yeah, want to slice it off and make another one, or do we just... We need iron. I'm... As I said, we're not past the stage where we will never ever handle again, so might as well consign myself to the fact that I am half dwarf and live underground, apparently. So, let's go. Sweet, 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 sweet. So, let's go. Yeah, just fill up inventories and make a bigger hole. That's basically now the... the objective, right? I'll try and keep it sort of semi... Um, semi-clean or, you know, in a shape where we can recognize what we're doing. But yeah, this is fine. Back to base, because even though we're 10 times inventory, yeah, as I say, stone is always heavy. Also, I may want to look into <laughs> re refilling everything that I have. Okay. Basic refinery, we're going to go and just dump this in here for a second, and then you, please fill me up. Crazy, I'm streaming at 8 megabits, but I'm actually recording the whole thing at 20 megabits. <laughs> so we're just waiting on the hydrogen bottle filling up properly. See, it's doing this weird thing where... I'm, I'm not even going to question it, because it does work, right? Um, but it would be better with a cockpit and an attached inventory full of hydrogen. But, you know, this works for us. Yeah, you're still coming up. Um, let's go... Um, two things. A. We have... No, we have other things in production at the moment, don't we? But quite a few things. Yeah. Let's try and get that finished. And once we have built and repair running, I can then start concentrating on sort of getting more resources quickly together. I, yeah, yeah, I like this space. As I say, I'm hoping that at some point in the future I can do something with this space. 
now it is just a source of stone. And all the precious materials that we need from it. Like iron, silicon, nickel. Right, the one thing I have not yet figured out, and this may just be because I haven't made long enough, is what to do with all the gravel. I have not seen any use for it yet. It says it's being used in recipes. Um, yeah, that's fine. It says it's being used in recipes and in, in certain crafters, but no real understanding on which recipe that would be. But it's fine, you know. I'm when I encounter it, I'll see it and then I'll deal with it. Um, so again, basic refinery. There you go. I'll have some more stone, and we're gonna just go and keep doing this dance a few more times. These built and repairs are a little bit expensive to build, um, but absolutely, it absolutely pays for itself to have it, like, just for the convenience of it all. Um, it's still a little bit claustrophobic. Do we want to go and try and maybe clean this up a bit? Just try and get some of those voxels at the ceiling removed a bit. And, you know, just sort of cleaned up, if you will. Yeah, not getting there. It's... I just don't like this feeling of being, like, completely sort of closed in. That's what I'm trying to also fix that, you know. Are we, yeah. Yeah, that is feeling already a little bit better. You know, just having that layer of voxels away and just a bit of breathing room here. Um, running back to base, you know, the usual. Uh, as I say, this is this is a whole dance routine that you have to make a few times in this game. Um, but again, you know, once you start at this game, you, you sort of know you're in it for the long haul. Uh, it's not something you play for half an hour here and there. No, it's something that, as I say, it took me about 85 hours to even get to this stage, right? Yeah, so... It's, it's something you can do when you have either no hobbies or no life or just the will to maybe play a really good game for a long time. It's either one of those. They're all good. No, don't stand up. I mean, do stand up. Will the real space engineer please stand up? Please stand up. And then, yeah, as I say, I'm just trying to sort of... Give it a bit. Yeah, that feels already so much better. I think there are two lines of voxels, to be honest. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. This is so much better. And then there's the other line of voxels going along here. So much better. Thank goodness. I know we're here for mining, but I'm also wanting a nice space at the same time. And I'm just instead of just hollowing a big empty void, I want to see if I can. Yeah, yeah I know, more strong. Um, also create a space that. Yeah, it, it's going to be sort of a bunker of sorts. That, that's the whole sort of idea. Right, there we go. Oh, oh, uh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Whoa. Whoa, horsey. Whoa. When I say whoa, I mean whoa. Uh, you send me Sam, anyone? Anyways, um, I'm hoping... Yeah, a bit more of that. I, said, I don't think we're that far off, like...
really functional. Right. One more first twelve steel plates. What does that look like in our production queue? Oh yeah, we have the resources. That's nice. Uh, do we? That was green just there. Uh, I mean, not red. But again, it, it does this sort of bit by bit. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Alright. We'll put this bad boy together. What do you mean I need four motors? Wait. Did we withdraw the stuff? No, we did not. That would have helped, you know. And there we go. We have a build. Now, this is one of the few blocks that isn't straight away on. It's, you know, and, and I like that, actually, to be honest. It, for me, that makes sense. Let's start using our seed footage, you know, to sort of start setting up things. Um, let me quickly... Here's my building. All I'm wanting on that block is really just on-off. All the rest we're going to do actually do through this set up here. Um, now, let's actually talk a little bit about managing your grids or your grid blocks. Because, for example, we've placed wind, three wind turbines, but they're called wind turbine nothing, and then wind turbine two and three. Uh, it can be quite daunting to try and figure out what's yours, right? So what I like to do, first of all, like, these are all just wind turbines. I don't care which one was placed when and where. Right, so they're all literally just wind turbine. Right, but we're going to replace that name. Actually, it wants it. it, it is that how you spell this, apparently? No, that's fine. Right, replace name. But then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put them in our in a group. And we're going to call this, right, that this is what I do, this is wind tower one. Right, and there's going to be obviously two more. Right? We know there's two, two sides still free. And then we can just add those to the same group. Okay. Um, interior light 2. No, because it's only one interior light. The other one was removed. And then I done a thing. And all good. Um, but yeah, so we can group things together. We can then look at the whole group. And it tells us a little bit about it. And we can turn it all on and off at the same time. Cool. What else? Well, build and repair. I forgot to... So I don't want to just go and switch on. Right? This... This is for me, I really care about this a lot. First, we're going to do walk mode, which means they're only going to deal with attached grids. Nice. Well, before grind, that's also nice, that can stay. Um, don't care about weld color, right? Build new, yes, please. Um, I'll build it all the way, no, I would like that. Um, but I would like a welding priority, right? And what I would like is that armor blocks, yes, they can be... Where's it? I'm seeing something here. Yeah, they are enabled. Um, we know how to make those, so we can, yeah, we can fix that. Uh, ship controller, I don't know if we know how to make that yet. So we're not going to build that. Same for thrusters, we have never built gyroscopes. We've built cargo containers, so I'm happy with that. We've built conveyors. Like, even the pipe conveyors, all that falls under that same category. So, yeah, please build that. Controllable gun. No, we have not built one, so don't. Power block. Yeah, we've built them already, so they can stay enabled. And then this is your, like, your, your wind panel. Uh, sorry, your, your wind turbine, your solar panel. But any one of them will do, right? So, yeah, leave that on. Programmable block. No, I want that to do myself the first time. Projector, same thing. I don't exactly understand what the difference here is but I'm gonna leave them disabled for now right because they're still production blocks we haven't built yet and we haven't built a door either right? ammo block yes please build me ammo blocks for sure and that is the list for now right and when, I've, when I see something else that we have built manually and then I want to just hand it off to build and repair I'm just gonna enable it back in the welding priority uh, settings for grinding yes I haven't selected a, grand, uh, a color yet, so it should be fine. Uh, janitor grinds enemy blocks, yes. Right. 
um, grinds not own blocks or anything that sort of falls in range, yeah, we'll just get ground down and we'll leave neutrals alone, right? I want the janitor to just do the whole thing. Um, and yeah, it can just take apart anything. I, I don't rightly care, right? I'd rather build it myself and then work from there. And we're going to do nearest first. It just, it's, it's a preference of mine. And then... Hmm. Yeah, that can sort of stay, right? Uh, collecting, yes. Push components immediately, <clears throat> so they're going straight into the containers and then get passed on, whatever. We don't need to worry about area so much. I mean, I can show you it, and it is huge, right? We are uh, have a lot of area that this thing is going to work for us in. Um, but yeah, you know, this is going to help us build our rover because a lot of this welding work can't just be done by the building repair. Like, I don't see why not. Um, but yeah, what I think we could do, let's have a look at how much iron we do actually have. I don't think it's all that. Oh, we have, we have 12 units. What was that? 12 kilos. Yeah. So, what I might do in between episodes just to take the real ugly grind away is I may do a bit of hand mining. You know, go and keep digging a bit more. Back then, our little hand mine. Um, and just let it process. Okay just so we have the resources available for us to say hey um we want to go and start building a rover we want the base to be built uh, built out a little bit um so i i i there's a build repair system build the, the, the show area is nice when you're trying to set it up after that ignore it also we want this to be like 20 percent like sure it's it's really loud so you might as well, right? Um, that is the setup for that. Well, before I go and enable it, I really, 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 really would like to have a bit more resource, right? Just because I feel it wouldn't be fair to tell build and repair to build something, I don't even have the means to do so, right? So I'm going to put these stones and then trusty little. Now, and we're just gonna go and do a little bit of sort of shaping, forming, filming, or at the same time with more rocks. I'm already glad that we're not consigned to the fact of punching trees, things like that. You know, this is definitely a market. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go on feed straight into the refinery. I'm just going to let it run through that. And it won't take it long. You can see that stone gets processed fairly quickly, actually, right? Um, and then am I going to tell it to just make me a whole mess of steel plate? Right. Just keep making steel plate for now. Because now comes, yeah, this is the part I absolutely love. I'm going to turn this thing on. I'm going to just step away. Woo! And there you go, it's moving, it's it's moving stuff, it's starting to weld things. And then if we give it a few minutes, you know, while it's sort of doing its thing, we shall see armor blocks appearing to actually being um, um, I can hear it. I can hear it depositing steel plates. Uh, do keep in mind, there's 25 steel plates needing to be filled in. But, oh, look at that! Up there, it's building. I think. Uh, but it's it's definitely filling. Sure, it's this guy. Yeah, but it's it's putting steel plates off wherever it sort of can, you know, and then, yeah, 
that's basically it. That's build repair. Ooh, ooh. I, I thought I'd seen something up here. I may have just imagined it. Um. Oh yeah, you can see it working up there as well. You know, block working on the blocks. Um. And I didn't actually realise I was going to have build and repair this early. To be honest, I hadn't planned on it. That's why I would filled that block out. But, you know, this is fine. I'm, I'm happy with this. Right. Um, next is what we're going to do with this. Right. There's, there's two things I would like to do. Is One, I would like to build another drill. Um, and just plonk her right there. And then, before we do that, though, I would like another piston going down. So, like, two pistons connected. So, we're reaching 15 meters. Possibly even more, I think. Um, uh, I, w I would need to attach a drill first. Well, we, we, we have a little bit of time. I'm, I'm not awful hurried right now. It's it's all good still. Um, shall we try that? Shall we see if we can get the resources together? It's, it's not cheap, but it can be done, I'm sure. Like, when I... Oh, can't. Oh, no, got resource. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Also, what do you mean, you know, no steel plane? I had literally just told you to make a whole mess of the stuff. Like, oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, yeah. So let's let's cancel all this for a second. Take this away from the build planner, uh, and then just tell me. I'm just curious. Is there literally no steel plate? Good grief! What? Oh well, yeah, build and repair. <laughs> so build and repair is obviously done its thing, right? Um, and so in the beginning, um, I will say we're we're just gonna leave it off. I'm I'm not. I'll worry about the base getting fully built up. But it is going to happen soon, right? Um, I think in between episodes, I will really take the grind off the game for you guys so you just don't have to watch me go on the mining hole for ages over and over again. I will just go and fill this cargo container to the hilt with stone. Right? Um, and yeah, once that is sort of processed, you know, as um, much as we can, we're going to build. I think we're gonna go and build this out a little bit, and then we're gonna try and build a little rover. Right, that's sort of the order of, of, of operations I would like to sort of continue on. Um, I mean, realistically, there's nothing stopping me right now to just whoop, keep grinding away um, at this base, you know, on stream. It is, it is not the most exciting thing, I will be honest. Um, but, you know, all being said and done, it is part and parcel of the game. And I actually enjoy this mining a lot more than, say, in Minecraft. And this is actually nothing against the game itself, while well, I like Minecraft, played it a long time. But mining always felt a little bit, I don't know, too boring, too predictable. Whereas here you're still trying to see what sort of hole you're shaping, what sort of, yeah, what sort of impact you're having on the environment. while I'm up here. And yeah, it's gonna drop a whole mess of stone on the ground. That's fine. I don't mind. How is that look? Yeah, yeah, you, you go and drop and then I'm gonna have to clean this out a little bit because that is just ugly. Alright, and then And 
Yeah, yeah, as I say, I know I'm dropping a whole mess of stone on the ground. But it makes the next part a little bit easier because all I just have to do is just run forth and back quickly a few times. Yeah, 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 this, this seems fine, okay. So, back out of the dank hole. Oh, into the dank weather. Oh, great fun. Oh, hello, planet. I see you there. Um, so, yeah, what I was meaning is we can just... Hello, just do this, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not much left, but it's fine. Actually, just gonna stick this in a refinery quickly. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get to building the whole thing today. We'll see. Uh, basic refinery, stick that in there, thank you. Some more stone to pick up, I know. Here, ding 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 love to see another drill attached. While it may not give us an immediate benefit, it's certainly gonna make the next step a little bit easier to get more resources in a sort of fell swoop. So, go we'll feed that in there. Uh, do I even want to know how messed up the production here is? Ooh! 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 ooh. This, this may actually be good news. So, control 2. Can I say... Six. Cannot withdraw all that. Why not? Okay. Oh wait, I didn't put anything into production, did I? Yeah, of course I didn't. Um, no, actually, leave the order of things. So, the order it puts it in is literally by functionality, right? So you would need those components all, and then the last bit, the 120 other steel plate, is for your integrity. Mm. Yeah, this, again, no, this is taking a little while. I think I'm going to just make a start by saying, give me, please, what you have. I'm just going to attach the thing. Right, boom. Done. And then, give me please my welder, and we're just going to go and start feeding material. Boop, bit of bit of. What if that is a thing that I can't place it through there, or. Yeah, mostly. And I am imagining we are literally out of iron already. Yeah. Okay, so. This is, as I say, this is going to be a thing for for between episodes. By next episodes, we will see this complete, or at least have the materials there. Um, and then we're going to go and actually chop this off again. But a... no, 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 don't chop off. Complete it first, drill down, then chop both of them off, put a second piston on top, below the other one and then reattach those two and yeah off we go 
I think for now, actually, we've done quite a bit. We, we have a little friendly helper now. Um, we have a bit more energy. I would like to quickly look at that state for just a second. Just while we're here. And yeah, we're fully charged in an hour. And that's nice. Um, but yeah, so I feel we've achieved, achieved quite a lot. Uh, I'm happy with progress so far. Um, I know it's not pretty. It's, it's not a pretty base. But it is mine. And I have built it with my own two hands and, and, and sweat and tears and welders and grinders and you know all that stuff. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. It's always appreciated. If you have any questions or any comments, hey, just go and leave them down in the doobly-doo. That's what it's there for. Um, I'll do my best to answer any comments and questions, you know. And yeah, I'm going to see you again tomorrow for the next episode of... 2022 a Space Engineers Odyssey. Thanks for watching.